Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you're wondering, what time is it? Where are you? Well, it's 12 and it's midnight, like a little bit past midnight, 23 minutes past midnight. And we're in my kitchen. We're doing a cooking thing today. Not really cooking, but a making thing today. But with French vanilla iced coffee. Now, my review on this video, um, on this flavor has been delayed a bit. Like, I've been doing other stuff. But today we're finally making it. 12 in the morning. Um, no, so, personally, I'm only going to show you one step this time, but I'm going to tell you some of the other steps. Now, you can either mix this with water, which is a very, like, strong brew of coffee. Um, I give that a 6 out of 10. I like, um, lighter coffee, and don't mind my hair. I don't mind it. Um, and then you can do a mix of milk and water, which will give you your, your medium brew, and you can already tell if you do all milk, then it will give you your nice, um like your nice like light brew of coffee and it and I prefer the light brew at the most I give the light brew a solid 8 out of 10 for this flavor but I'm gonna show you how we can bring it one step better by making this a frappuccino now I'm not very good with making things or coffee or anything but we're gonna try this out today and we'll be right back with the ingredients now we got all the ingredients first you're gonna need some ice cream G Fuel 12 uh Freaking! I can't remember the measurement. 350 milliliters and like 12 ounces. Yeah, that's what it is. Some whipped cream and some vanilla flavoring. And you're also gonna need a blender. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. But first of all, you're gonna want to mix all your ingredients up. So we're gonna get really just the blender. Top part. We're gonna add in our milk. We're going to add in a little bit of this, not too much, not too little. We're going to add our whipped cream. Oh, uh, this might take a second. We're going to add a couple, a little bit of whipped cream. Not too much, not too little. You know, you can always go for extra if you like flavoring. Now we're going to add a couple scoops of ice cream. You know, you can choose how much you want based on everything. I'm gonna go with three scoops cause I'm fat and this is dessert time for me. And then lastly, you need one last thing and that is your G Fuel coffee. Now we're gonna add one scoop of coffee into this, right? Just one scoop. You add your one scoop, put your top, tap, top back on, put the top on this, um, you put it in the blender and it's time to blend it up, make sure you, like mine has a milkshake mode and that's what I'm going to be using today to mix it all up, but mix it all up for a solid little bit until all things are blended together and we'll be back when we do have it now mixed up. we got a mixture all blended up nice. We're going to pour it into our shaker cup. Now, I also added a little bit of ice to add some thickness to the whole thing. And I feel like that was a good idea. But this is... Oh my god, I'm just tasting that now. It is really good. Um, but no, just to add some thickness to the whole thing. I'm going to put the cap on. Make sure when you do mix, you go with milk. And you, um, do all that stuff. Oh, if you're looking at these chunks, that's just some of the ice that didn't get crushed up. But if you do mix G Fuel with milk, make sure that you clean out your shaker very thoroughly. Because otherwise it is going to smell really bad. So we're going to give this one final shake. And then we're going to give it a full test. Alright, now that is pretty good. You can taste a lot of the ice cream as well as the whipped cream, but you can also still get a lot of that G Fuel. And I feel like that makes it much lighter than it is with just water or something. And much sweeter as well. It has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, so that's really the only downfall I find to this. But I feel like this really makes this a 10 out of 10 flavor. A bit hard to prepare, but I think it is definitely worth it. And I think this is the best way to try this. 
if you really want to cut stuff out you could technically cut the vanilla extract out or you could cut the um the whipped cream out um but basically you can customize this to your own needs try it out change up a couple of things and see if you like it but i do recommend this flavor um if you're not too into coffee in general like i'm not the biggest fan of it then maybe don't get it like i enjoy it but i feel like if I you cut out um where i left off yeah talk about coffee good tastes good um definitely try it for yourself i'm gonna go get my friend who's actually another youtuber in here to try it out real quick um but yeah so we'll be right back and we're gonna go check it out this is jackson coming in jackson uh he runs multiple channels well, I have like two main ones, Jack's Long Vlogs and Jake's Pro 69. So, yeah. What do you do on your channel? Well, the vlog channel obviously is for vlogs, and then the other one is for um, gaming and stuff. Alright. Um, like, right. So, you can try this. He drinks G Fuel, too. He has only had a couple flavors, though, so. Alright, how do you feel about that? That's pretty good. It is pretty good. Alright. Now. I added ice cream, whipped cream, vanilla extract, the G Fuel, milk, and that was about it. And then I blended it all together. I did add ice as well, though. So, yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. We got a second review, so I'm not lying to you guys. But, yeah, that was really it for today. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Uh, remember, um, if you want to see more of the kitchen stuff, like, I guess, and tell me in the comments below. Also... Um, go check out my Twitter, um, if you, it'll be the first comment, it'll be the pinned comment, and it will be in the description, a link to one of my new tweets. I'm doing it for the G Fuel Mix It Challenge, and if we can win that, we can win some cool G Fuel swag, and, you know, try it out and see how it is. So I hope you guys all did enjoy, did, smash like, all that stuff, we'll see you guys later, bye.